My name is Linda Reyna, and that baby that you see is me. I am a second generation Hispanic to my mother who immigrated from Mexico and my dad and his parents were born here in the US. I feel lost from time to time about where I stand in the Latin community. Here I am, a brown-skinned Hispanic, being told I look like the typical Hispanic growing up, yet I don't speak the language fluently, nor have I met any of my mom's side of her Mexican family. I don't know much about my heritage. I've never met any of my Mexican families, including my abuelito who sadly passed away from cancer. I never even had the privilege to give him a hug. That whole side remains a mystery for me. I feel like I don't fit in with the Latin community, but on the other hand, I feel like I'm too Hispanic to be American. The thing is, I never sat down with my mother and understood her side of things, so I'm hoping that that can help shift my perspective and help me understand that by looking through her eyes of how she identified herself, that it would inspire me to create my own identity. So I will be behind the lights, I will be on my laptop reading the questions while my mom answers them. I hope this goes well, it will probably be a positive experience uh, seeing her perspective on things since I've never really talked with her about this sort of stuff, I've never really gotten her point of view on things so I think it's also going to be a bonding experience as well. Alright this is it, this is what we're working with. I've kind of cleared out the area. I got my laptop here, and this is where my mom will be sitting. Okay, testing, testing. Please work microphone. Oh, you wanna use the You're doing great, yes. Oh. Does it show that it's a red button? Or like, yeah. it says recording? Yeah. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. You're so beautiful. Let's do it. Okay, okay. okay. Do you identify as a Mexican, a Mexican-American, Latina, or Hispanic, or what? Hispanic. What was it like growing up in Mexico? Like, was it fun? Did you did you struggle? Not at all. So I have a lot of friends, and yes. I had a very healthy uh, childhood. Okay. Our lifestyle it was not accommodate, but we were okay. We don't we didn't like struggle with, about food and you know clothing. Why did you decide to come to the U.S.? Okay, my dream, it was to become a doctor. Mm -hmm. I had a career, but I was not happy with the career. Mm -hmm. And I want to be a doctor in science. That career is very expensive. My plan is to come on summers to work and pay my university, but things happen and... Mm -hmm. I never went back. Not until like 25 years later, right? Like around that time? Yeah, a little more. Longer, oh. longer than that. Oh, my. Wow. When you came to this country, did you speak Spanish? Did you know how... Did you already know how to speak Spanish? Or were you struggling? I knew the essential words, but mm -hmm. like a, or a little conversation. At least I knew how to communicate my necessities. Oh, but of course, I, I, I struggle sometimes, mm. but um, uh, I decide to start reading books, magazines, newspaper in English, watching TV in English, and it's the way I start learning a little more. Ma, do you think that it's important for immigrants to, uh, the children like me, for us mm. to speak both English and Spanish? Yes, it's very important because I think you have better chances to find a job mm -hmm. and you know there's a lot of Hispanic people yeah, in Houston and um, in all USA so it, it is it is good or you can go visit another countries where you don't have to struggle yeah. uh, speaking. I'm kind of curious why didn't I grow up learning Spanish? How come I don't speak Spanish like the rest of your father did not speak Spanish and he wanted to be involved and understand science. He did not speak Spanish, even it was a Hispanic. It was so hard for him to understand. Because yeah. I remember when you were little, very small, they just start speaking Spanish, but mm -hmm. then you stopped that. Yeah, there was, there was videos of yeah, me speaking Spanish. Yeah. And then later on, 
uh, with the time you forgot the Spanish mm. and uh, I feel bad about it. I was surprised when I, in, in one of the videos that grandma showed me, mm -hmm. I was surprised. I saw a video of me and all I was talking, I was talking in Spanish and I was like, what the heck? I was like two yes. years old. Yeah. You like, used to what? speak Spanish singing yeah. and wow. Spanish, but with the time you just forgot. Yeah. When you came to America, did you feel like you lost some of your Mexican culture or did, did you feel like you lost part of your span or something? Yes, I did. The culture about the living way, even the the food, mm. the manners. Yeah, the mannerism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh. And yeah, a lot of things. I had to learn how to live the same way they live in this yeah. country. Because mm. I, I, I know that I had to... Adjust? Yeah, adjust. Did you feel like you were, were out of place? Like you didn't feel like you were at home? Or did it feel like, like America was your, your new home? Yes, I feel like America was my home. Wow, wow. I never felt it like I was a, a stranger. Place. Yeah. Maybe the first few years, did you feel like a stranger or, or no? Or you just felt like, this is my new home? No, not really. I never felt wow. it like stranger. Wow. I never felt that I was out of space. Uh, everybody treated me really nice. Wow. All these years, I, I can say I have. I have. A good experience. Yeah, experience like. Yeah. Wow, you you're one of I uh, definitely probably one of the lucky lucky immigrants. Yes. You've had yes. good people, good jobs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really you were blessed. Oh yes. To kind of wrap this up, why do you think Latinos are important for America? Like, why do you think immigrants are important? Many of the companies I've been working, we always describe as uh, hard workers. When we come to this country, we know we had to come and work. We just focus and, and, and work and be responsible. And I see a lot of immigrants, they work hard. They already own a house. They own cars and all that. They don't like to struggle. And I heard many times in my companies, they... Oh, Hispanic, they're really hard work. They, they good, you know. And uh, and I've seen in a lot of companies where a lot of Hispanics, they got a position. They move to a higher position. We all deserve it. We, we are a hard worker. We all deserve a better opportunity. Uh, yes. You know, job or opportunities and um, a better life, you know. Mm -hmm. That that help us to better life and uh, not depend on government. Mm. And we don't have to. Uh, uh, we really like to work and we really like to be responsible. We, we don't need to. So you would say like Hispanics are like the muscle of America. The backbone. Yes. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have right now. I just wanted to say thank you so much, Ma, for for, for agreeing with me to take to do this interview. You really opened my eyes to a lot of things. And uh, it's so nice to hear your perspective on it. And you have such a beautiful heart and a beautiful soul and you really are hard hardworking and you do deserve a lot of wonderful things and uh, yeah thank you so much thank you after sitting with my mom i finally got the clarity that i needed i do believe that i have a seat in the latin community table i feel like there is a place for me and that i shouldn't let the labels define me and that i only define me and I'm learning the ways of my culture by actually learning Spanish and learning to cook the recipes. But I'm also, my heart is also in America. I do want to thrive and flourish here socially, economically here and contribute through hard work. And here my mom's side of the story, we can choose to pull in different cultures into our practices and that is completely okay because it your identity is what literally what you make of it and so it's really freeing to know that I have that power and that now I can go and express that expressed out out into the world so yeah I'm glad I did this